Hello, welcome to Weightlifting for Life. My name is Chris, and today we're going to make some muffins. Uh, this is a recipe Ann and I came up with uh, and have tweaked it over time. Uh, these are great to take with you. They're very healthy. Um, they're great to take in the car if you're on a trip. They're great to throw in your gym bag for a little pick-me-up during your workout, whatever. But uh, they're great to, to have around at any point in time. And today we're going to go ahead and make some. So uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is turn our oven on at 375. I already did that. Uh, second thing is, is you need to get some kind of a muffin type tin or cooking ware to put the muffins into. Uh, this is uh, stoneware and as you have maybe seen in some of our past videos, Anne and I believed in going a little bit more natural so we got rid of all of our Teflon coated uh, cookware. And so this is stone. Uh, if you are going to use some other kind of cookware, uh, such as nonstick or such, you may need to adjust your oven and cooking times accordingly. Um, so that being said, uh, this has worked for us. Uh, all it requires is some cooking spray. I've already done that. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and um, I'll tell you step by step how to do this. We're going to start off with, you're going to need a big mixing bowl. And first thing you're going to get is just some natural oats. Uh, they can be any brand, um, just as long as they don't have anything added to them. These are quick oats. Uh, they're just generic oats, um, nothing real fancy. And from there, what we're going to do is, for, now this is for a recipe for a dozen. So we're going to start off with, with uh, four cups of oats. So you got four cups of oats, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put all the dry ingredients together first, then add the wet. Um, from there, you need some kind of a whey protein. Um, this is a brand that we like. It's the J-Rob whey protein. This is vanilla flavored. Uh, it's all natural, and it seems to work very well for this recipe. So what we're going to use in this is about a scoop and a half of whey protein. Uh, Size-wise, a scoop is about 30 grams, so take that into consideration if you're using a different brand, so uh, roughly about 45 grams of whey protein. From there, we're using the same brand, j Egg White Protein. And once again, this is vanilla flavored. Uh, this is a 33 gram scoop, so take that into consideration if you use a different brand as well and about a scoop and a half of that baking powder and we're going to add about a teaspoon of it half teaspoons throw that in there and then from here um, we've switched over to stevia and the reason for that is obviously sugar has its downfalls uh, not only with calories being one of the biggest culprits, but uh, it also spikes your insulin levels. Uh, we, used to, we went from sugar into uh, Splenda, but Splenda is more of a um, chemical uh, in our minds. Uh, it was actually created in a lab. Uh, therefore, and it also, um, there's some studies that have shown that it spikes your insulin levels uh, even worse than sugar. So uh, we experimented with different brands of stevia, which it comes, it's all natural when it comes from a, a leaf. And uh, we've tried various brands, some are bitter. Uh, this brand here, the Now brand, uh, tends to not only, in our opinion, be one of the better ones, uh, it, it is not bitter, um, and it seems to be a little more potent for what you use, um, but it goes a long way. Uh, so what we are going to do is, for this, we are adding two tablespoons only of the stevia. This recipe is going to call for about two cups of water. And when you mix this up, you may need to adjust that a little bit if it looks too dry, then go ahead and add just a little bit of water at a time until you get the consistency that you would like. Because one of the next things we're going to add um, 
is a sugar-free pancake syrup. And it just gives it a little bit of a maple flavor. Uh, I'm gonna put about a half a cup in. Um, you can either try it with or without. That's why I'm gonna hold off on adding a little more water because I wanna see the consistency of what this looks like with that. Mix that up a little. Kind of gives the give them a little bit more of a maple flavor, and just as I thought, it's the consistency is starting to look the way I wanted it to. And then lastly, I'm going to add a tablespoon of olive oil. Olive oil is good for you, and not only that, it keeps the muffins from drying out a little bit. And I'm not sure if it'll show on here, but there's kind of the consistency I'm looking for. You can kind of see it. Hopefully. I'm going to throw a little bit of blueberries in. You could throw some craisins in. Uh, you could throw some cut up apples in. Some other things people might want to throw in would be a little honey. Um, I haven't done that yet, but that is an option. Uh, if you wanted to add a little peanut butter, possibly make, um, you know, you can get a little more of your daily fats in that way, um, along with some protein. But there's our consistency. I'll show you a little bit on scooping this in so you get an idea. And I put them just to about the top. And then I'll, uh, if I need to take a little out of one to put into the other, I'll do that. All right, I think we got it. And there we go. We will pop that in the oven. Like I said, at 375 for roughly around 45 minutes. And then we'll check back when these are done and I'll show you what they look like. Welcome back. I took them out of the oven at about 45 minutes. They appear to be done. Uh, you will also see that they're not quite as brown as a traditional muffin and that's okay. Uh, they taste great. Like I said, feel free to play around with the recipe, but um, they're a great alternative to eating out on the road. You can bring with you. Have a lot of fun with it and thanks for watching.